What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be addressing the color on the wagon. Now, we have had something absolutely incredible happen and the guys over at Hammer Coatings have jumped on board to supply some paint for us. That is right, we are no longer wrapping the wagon, we are jumping up to the big boy levels and we are painting this yes. And man, when they first reached out to me, I lost my absolute mind because like, sure I love vinyl wrapping, sure you could almost argue the backbone of half this channel is vinyl wrapping and when I vinyl wrapped all the car and everything, but at the end of the day, paint is king. And at the end of the day, I chose this wrap because it is the closest color I could find in vinyl wrap to the paint that I one day wanted to paint the wagon. So fast track however long it would have been until we would have originally started to be in the position to paint this and come this weekend, we may be painting it. Now, the color that we are going is still a red because obviously we've just done all this freaking awesome merch. If you want some of this, jump on the website now and pre-order it now. At the end of this week, it's gone. So make sure if you want it, pre-order it now because this stuff is sick and it is flying off the shelves, even though it's not on the shelves yet, but we got to, you know what I mean? It's gone. It's going like Bicky's on a, I don't have any freaking analogies, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So everything is red. Everything, the wagon has revolved around being red. And if we're going to keep this dream alive and get this wagon to someone that's red, we're going to do it the best freaking way possible with some of the coolest paint I've ever seen. And I can't wait to get this color on the car because it's going to look mental. Now I will put up like some little pictures and videos just here, but these videos were sent to me on Facebook. And remember, Facebook kills the quality of any video, especially if you're sending it in Messenger. It freaking turns it to potato instantly. So this is the color that we're doing. It's a complete custom color. It is just a dark, freaking awesome red with a heap of flake through it. Um, it's not actual metal flake. I can't remember what the name of it is. It's not actual like metal flake. It's actually, it's got a different name to it. It starts with an X. I, I can't remember what it is but it's gonna look freaking retarded on the wagon. It's gonna look sick. And now all of a sudden we're like building this insane, huge freaking car. It's gonna be painted. It's gonna be built. It's gonna be freaking, it's gonna be gnarly, man. Like look at where we've come from in the last freaking six months or whatever, like from where the wagon was to well, now it's not much at all, but it's gonna be absolutely sick by the time it gets to summer now. And I can't freaking wait. So what we're doing this week is we're gonna spend the time to prep the car. Now, most of the panels and most of the paint is all in great condition. So half the work is already done. Plus, it is going to be a burnout car, a party car. The thing's probably going to catch on fire at some stage. It's going to be destroying panels. It's not going to be a show car. So we don't need a top 60 or grand champion level paint job. And because all of the car is already dark, we can pretty much just scuff it down. I'm going to guide coat it. I'll talk you through that and why I'm doing that. And then we'll be able to paint it and hopefully... Hopefully, if I can get it all done with a couple late nights and everything, this weekend, we will be painting the car. So there is a couple things that we need to do in order to get it to the stage of being able to even just block it down. First of all, we need to roll the guards. I obviously want to roll the guards before we paint it because there is no way in hell I want to risk cracking that paint after we've already done it. So I'm going to roll them first because then I can go I can go ham with them. There's also a couple of little dents that I'm actually really keen to uh, do some body work on and body filler and all that stuff. I got some of the best stuff in the game that you guys will see and it is amazing. So first off, what we're going to start off with doing is rolling the guards. We're going to just smash that out. We're going to start working on that today. It is going to be a big job. And I remember I did have a guard roller, but I stripped the threads last time I was rolling the guards on the other wagon. So on the, on the threads, it actually makes it extend in and out to put the pressure on the guard when you're rolling it back and forth. So I bought a new one, but I ran into another dilemma. The studs on a VE are M14. So that's, that's pretty thick boy. Whereas almost every guard roller you can buy are M12. So they're freaking obviously smaller. So I remember on the last one, I had to drill them out. I remember also doing that, I snapped my step drill bit. So you can see that this is just leading into more issues, more issues, more issues. So instead of going and buying another step drill bit, because I know I obviously need one, I had an idea. I still have my last guard roller. That's like, I don't know, in the shit closet behind all the boxes and everything. It, or, it already has a base that is drilled out to fit on the hold and stud pattern. So I've got both of them here. You can see drilled out so it'll actually fit on there. But you can see like normal threads here, mashed up threads here. So it doesn't actually work. You can't use it. But for 50 bucks, it definitely doesn't hurt to just buy another one. And I can either swap out the bottom places in my uh, work boots, or I can just swap out the threaded rod on this one which I think I might do. And then at least I've still got a backup and I just need another threaded rod kind of thing. But yeah, so I might do that. I'll swap over that rod. Then I've already got this. Then, I, then we can just get straight into it. All right, let's do that. All right, so we've MacGyvered something up. 
We've now got this together. We've got some spare parts if we ever need them. Now we can get to town with rolling. So normally I would jack up off the diff under the car, but there is no diff. So I will find somewhere to jack off. <laughs> Lol. And uh, then I'll put some stands under it because obviously, oh wait, there's no diff. Yeah, I don't need to worry about the wheels spinning freely or being like locked together because there's no diff. I can just do it one side at a time. All right, I'll jack up off the seal um, and we'll get to town. So I've pretty much already finished this side. You can see that it is now paper thin, pretty much up in here, um, which would be amazing. Now, one of the guards that we need to fix, or the, only, the only guard we need to fix, just this little line here. Um, so at the same time, I'm also like going pretty aggressive with this because if we crack the paint now, like go, go balls to the wall now, get all the little cracked bits off, sand it smooth, primer just on the inside edge here, and then uh, when the paint goes on, it'll, it, like the next paint, it'll never have any stress issues. So cracking this paint right now isn't the end of the world to me. Um, and cause yeah, I'm just gonna sand around this edge anyways. It's gonna get body filler, it's gonna be blocked. It's going to uh, get a bit of primer too. So this doesn't bother me. Alrighty, now it's actually a really simple process. Um, now you can see this tiny little warp here. That just happens with the VEs. If you want big wheels and you're gonna pump your guards and everything, that's just what's going to happen because of the way that they're built. You can't do anything about that. But the rest of them are pretty good. I'll start bogging over this spot. I don't know why, but I'm actually really keen to bog um, and start blocking and sanding. Once Indy gets back because she she went out drinking the other night and she left our other car out that place and then she took her car to uni so I'm carless at the moment, so can't go to the paint supply store, can't get the blocks and the sandpaper, but we will start that soon. And I'm gonna do some really long nights. Well, there's another little bog spot we need to do. Um, Cause I really wanna try and get this as nice as possible. And the good thing is, is most of the panels are a lot straighter than what the other wagon was to begin with. So happy days, keen as, can't wait. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this one. Just make sure it's perfect. So I don't have to do it again once it's painted. And yeah, should be mint. All righty. So, for reference, it's hard to see from this angle, but look at this massive edge in here. So all of that, the whole way around to this. Pretty much paper thin all the way around. And the cracking, not the end of the world because we're painting it anyway. So crack it now so it doesn't crack later. I know on camera because I just watched that clip back on the one that I've already done, it does look a little bit warped. But again, that is just that tiny little bit of a dent that we're just gonna try and fix anyways. That's the only dent on the shell, pretty much. So that's not that's not warping from from uh, rolling the guards. That's just warping because it, it, it was dragged along something at its point. It's only minor, enough to see, but we're gonna fix it anyways. But yeah, so the warping isn't from the rolling. So just, yeah, just so you know. Woo! All right, so yeah, you can see, see that, that tiny bit of poke? And that goes away when the car gets lowered. But uh, yeah, I've, I've noticed that like, if you look from up here, you can kind of see where the dent is, it does go in a bit. So we're actually gonna lose a tiny bit of real estate. I mean, you don't really feel it on the inside. It's probably just the difference between the outer skins. We're just gonna have to put a little bit of bog there, which may come off in the future, which I really don't like, but you can just see that it goes in there. That's all right. It, it should be fine. We'll, we'll try to do it as proper as we can. All right, time for a quick lunch break. Indy's finished doing what she's doing, so we're gonna duck out and get some food. All right, so we're back from lunch. We have the ugly pile of plastic interior parts to go into this wagon, and we bought some goodies. All right, so what we've got is, this is the closest thing they really had to a sanding block. It'll contour a tiny bit, but uh, I guess I'll just have to be gentle with it. Um, bunch of scotch bride uh the sanding guide to do a, a guide coat which uh, I'll, I'll talk you through when i get to it i'll be doing that either tonight or tomorrow i don't know um and then a bunch of sandpaper a couple sheets all righty so what we're going to start off with doing is we may as well just get straight into it i'm just going to start freaking scotch bride in the car because this is going to feel really weird oh i'm already cringing and i haven't even started yet that's just i mean uh This already hurts me and I haven't even started. Oh wow, that... That really does smoothly just like scuff it all up. 
So yeah, I'm going to do this for the whole car. When you come over with your guide coat, which is pretty much like, just think of it as a black dust. And then it sits in all of the uh, low spots and high spots of the car in all of the paint. So you know where to sand more. So this will be done over the entire car. A little bit here too. I hope you guys are cringing at home because I am. This is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Like purposely destroy paint. But it's all for a good cause. I've just done this panel here. Now it's only a very rough guide, but you can see like just here, it's a bit easier from far away. Just here, here, here. You can see all this. I've done like a smooth coat over it all. They're a rough idea at some high spots and low spots in the paint. So we'll try our best before it goes into paint to even in them out. So smash all this out. It's going to be a big week of prepping the car because I want it in paint this week. So got to go over the entire thing. So legit 30 seconds with one of these scotch bright pads. We're already at this level. So... This is really good because I was worried that it was going to go really dark once I'd start to scotch bright it. And obviously that's not going to be super beneficial because the guide coat is a black dust. But that will work because it's going this kind of color. Um, it, it, there's a lot of dust sitting on top of it so you can wipe it off and everything. But I'm going to go over the entire car maybe once or twice just so that it's all perfectly kind of scuffed, I guess you'd say. Um, then, so, then once we put the guide coat on, we're going to start sanding the bitch. Big job ahead really keen i'm already having so much fun with this and i love it now i was going to do or i was not going to do this back door here because we're probably we're not going to be using this door just because the bottom of the door is like folded under at the at the, at the back of it which is no stress i've got another door that we're sorting out um i went to actually go to a wreckers today to pick it up but he wasn't there when we went there so that sucks but either way we're, we're making good progress with this because fingers crossed if everything goes to plan by the end of next week, we will have this car painted and it's going to look so good. But yeah, like, but with a lot of the other stuff, it is just a lot of a hurry up and wait. Um, so I'm going to be cranking on this as much as I can this week because the biggest thing with paint is prep. Now, no, we're not going back to a bare shell. We're not fixing every little freaking thing. It's not going to be a showroom finish, but it's still going to look absolutely insane. I know vinyl wrapping is wicked and it's something we've always been doing, but no matter what, paint is king you can't get the depth you can't get like you can't get so much from from wrap that you can from paint so i can't wait to do it and we've got a lot of prep to do because we also need to strip out the rest of this engine bay so we can paint it but we're already light years ahead of where we would have been with the other engine bay so really happy with that but that's probably where i'm going to wrap up today's video um now this isn't going to be the end of today what i'm doing i'm going to be working on this thing all damn night this is where i got to end today so that i can get it up and everything Make sure if you guys want to get some merch from our new merch line, do you jump on the website right now and pre-order yours today. It has been flying. It has been going crazy. I can't believe how much you guys have been digging this first merch drop. And if it's any, any idea for what's to come in the future, it's going to be freaking incredible. You guys are amazing and you always blow me away. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll catch you in the next video, which will be Wednesday, 6 p.m., where we get most of this thing prepped for paint. Maybe some other cool things too that are on the way. But that's going to be it for today's video. Catch you guys in Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. All righty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat. I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly. It's turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm